and let's say good morning, Martha. Good morning, Martha. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Well, of course. Good morning, did. folks. No snowman quilt today because I only have four blocks left and I'm going to be very depressed after it's done because I'm actually loving it. I'm loving making it. I think I need to zoom out a bit. Yes, a little bit. There we go. Is that better? I don't know. I'm trying to get my pop out. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so where I left off was I was making this craft desk. Imagine that. So it says I need this. I need... Oh, yeah, I already cut these down. These spindles for the feet. The legs. And it's telling me to use the cream colored fabric. So we are not using Good morning, them. um. Good morning, um. We are going to use this pretty fabric for my craft desk, I think. Yes. So I need a piece 120 by 90. It's raining here again since I've been up. It is? Yes. Wow. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20. So at the 12 mark. And at the 90. So my dog is still sick. And I'm going to trim it right there. How was there sugar this morning? I don't know. The glucose meter is done now. Oh, really? Yep, it's already finished. That stinks. Yeah, it does. It only is good for two weeks. Why is it only good for two weeks? That's the way they made those meters. So you keep buying the discs. That's why. They're smart. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So where is the... Actually, where's my rotary cutter? What is it you're making? The, the craft table. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, the little mark I did make is gone. Bye-bye. This is not the safest ruler to use, but hey, it works for me. It'll work for me. Yep. It works for little things. Yes. Just little things. Like little miniatures. But it definitely would slide up onto that ruler. Okay, so there is my lovely piece of fabric. Why do we have that at the end? Okay, goodbye. All right. Now, let's glue all this. So, these are for the legs. That's what these are for. And we need our glue. And glue it there, I guess. Looks good to me. And I'm going to fill these with glue, these holes, because the wooden legs will go inside of them. She is so hacking so bad today. Holy cow. Yesterday she had such a good day. Today, not so good. Not a great start. Perfect little craft table. Oh, come on, get in there. 
Oh, it is in. Oops. And then I just let this harden a little bit before I actually glue anything in it. Whoa, Brad. Trying to make it even, but it's not so easy. Well, ain't that some shit? Okay. I'm just going to leave it upside down, let it dry a little bit because I have to work on something else now. Okay, so we need some things here to make a small little caddy by the looks of it. And then I'll glue the tablecloth on later. So I need starting with B20 all the way up to 27, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yep. B20 all the way to 27. All of those pieces. So this is the little caddy. How cute this is going to be. Okay, so let's start with B21. Which one are you doing? It's a little caddy. Oh. Okay, so B21. Oh, baby girl. Then I need to glue 27 and 20 to it. <laughs> 27. All right. Okay. So. Yeah, one. Good, good morning, so. Hi, Tracy. Good morning. Good morning, Om. Um. What do you want? Let's put a little bit of glue here. I woke myself up at 7.30 this morning to find that she was laying on my shoulder. Oh, really? She was waiting. She was waiting. It's like, come on, Mom. What was she waiting for? me to wake up <laughs> so you got up i think she figures if she sits on my shoulder she sees any little movement my eyeball might have <laughs> oh right cats are sneaky like that yeah, i don't know but all right and the next piece is 23 uh no 26 which is this other piece oopsies i don't want to do it does it go flush with that yeah okay so put a bit of glue on there bit of glue on there Don't want this moved. Needs to stay straight. <clears throat> 
Why does it look like it belongs that? That is not going to fit on like that. Oh, but it fits like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, um, tool caddy type thing. Yeah, like a little organizer caddy. Yeah, cute. Yeah. Uh, Let's glue on it. Then it gets twenty three and twenty whatever that is. Twenty five. Yes, it really is a tool caddy. So, put the glue in there. This one. Cute. It's a little organizer, Martha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's super cute. That is so adorable. Thinking adorable. Last piece of this one. I should just glue it on here. How hard is that? Of course, I had to squish this, move it, you know. It doesn't sound good at all. going to have to do for now. I think that's super cute. It's a little caddy. Look. That's adorb. Yes, it is very adorbs. So we're going to put a tablecloth on here. I want to put it upside down so I can just have it very faintly. Really? Yeah. I don't want it to be because I don't want it to camouflage other stuff. So Good I'm idea. It yeah. Because it's pretty, pretty bold. You like that rocking chair? I think Allie likes that little rocking chair. Oh, she's laying in it? She's sitting on it. Aw, new bed for her.
Well, I don't know if I like this at all. I don't. You best pull it off quick. Yeah. I'm just going to trim it down. Scissors. There. Can you hear my TV? A little bit. Well, why didn't you say that? Nothing too bad, bad. Turn this under. Doesn't call for it, however. I'm going to use these to cut it. I don't like them. I don't want to hang it down. Gonna fight with a, a wee wee bit. A wee 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 a bit. <clears throat> there. I like this much better. Then look, then having it hang down. Like yeah. That. Looks like it's truly covered. Yes. I gotta keep squishing this corners down till the glue try catches it a bit. Does it stand up correctly? Oops. Oops. <laughs> Kind of have too much glue on me. Yeah, right. So she says a tablecloth in a sewing room. Yeah. So how about a covered table in a sewing room? And it's got very like I got the wrong side up because it's it's see through, but it's it's more bold. Like here's the difference. We can just say it was a decoupage table. There's the difference. Oh yeah. Better muted. Yes, that's exactly what I did. Mute it. Okay, are you going to stay in there? <clears throat> so, that goes like that. And then our little caddy goes somewhere on here like that. But I wanted to make a little mat. Measure tools. Um, green paper, eh? What's the green paper for? For flowers? Yeah, I ain't making flowers. Where's the green paper? Give me some green paper. I'll make a cutting mat. That's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make a little fake cutting mat. I'm going to cut it. Just a little one. Yeah, that's going to look good. Now, let's take my white chalk pencil. That one's not sharpened. I got to put my jacket on. I'm cold. Let's do too hot, here. too cold, too hot, too cold. Geez, you think I'm going through a menopause or something.
You know, I really wished I would have painted that baker's rack yesterday. Yeah, it would have been a nice day for it yesterday. No kidding. What about today? It's cold out. It's raining. Oh, and your baker's rack sitting outside? No, it's in the house. Oh. Maybe tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be like 70 tomorrow, I think. If I remember. <laughs> um, we're going to put some fabric on it. And we're cutting. <sighs> Excuse me. Yawning, yawning, yawning. I just have to work on this bracelet. So I don't know if I want to do pearls. I think I'm going to do these. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. What are they? They're rondelles, I think. Yep, rondelles. <gasps> what you up to today, so? Now. I need a little piece of cutting. And I know I have a piece in here that broke off. I might use it now. Also, my corner one, because it's impossible to ever glue it back on. Where is that piece? Let's see it there. Where did I see it? Oh, it's here. I didn't throw it away. Oh, you just went robotic. Of course I did. You're gonna have to wait a second. Oh shoot! Where did I put it? The arch. Well, I guess it's gone forever. It what? Gone. What you looking for? It was a broken off piece of roller. Morning, Nan. Good morning, Nan. That I really could have used. <laughs> So's doing as little as possible today. I haven't decided yet, she says. Okay, so if I go out that way, and I come in this way. Back on. Oh, I'm not sure I'm, I'm going to like that. You really can't see it, okay? These I'm not going to work with. How about now? Am I okay? Yes. Okay. I'm going to keep working so I can't find that piece. So I can find that piece of cutting board. I think I want the pearls. I want the pearls. I'll tell you this thing I made over here that holds everything for me is the bomb. Like all my tools and stuff that I'm using, this thing is so freaking the bomb. Here maybe. What kind of pastry we have in this morning, Nan? Oh, I'm sure it's not anything. This is where I put it. We need our daily flavors. Which flavor you having today? See, a little piece of the ruler broke off. I bet you I threw it out. 
because I'm just so cool like that, Martha. Yeah, okay. yeah, you sure are. I probably said, throw it out. You don't need it. I fixed it. You did? What was wrong with it? Okay, good. Definitely fix the toilet downstairs for the guy. God knows what he flushed, but it flooded. Not flooded. Plugged. Well, it looks to me like I'm screwed, glued, and tattooed. What are you look? A piece of ruler. Why are yes, you looking for a piece of ruler? I, I it was a corner that broke off my um ruler here. I'll show you it. Then you'll know what I'm looking for. Not that one. Where's the other one? Right here. See this ruler? Look, this piece broke off. See? Oh. And I'm looking for this piece, and I just saw it the other day because this was the clearly perfect slotted trimmers that I got from Missouri and somehow that one piece got broken off but I, I when I cleaned up the other day I thought oh that's where it is well now I don't know where it is so ow what in the ever living pins are find it <laughs> no but I certainly Ooh, just apple. Yum. well um well well there's a deep subject my dear uh, i'm gonna have to make my own little ruler okay i got a coat i didn't so want three, to four, five, oh i got poked six, really bad i wonder if i could cut a piece of this sure if i could make a ruler yes Twenty-eight. So half of that. Twenty-eight divide by four. So there's that one. Then I have a little square one. We have triangle one. I wonder if I should use 15s. Yep, I'm going to keep those right there. Oh no. Get out of there. That one. Ooh, it's hot in here. I turned my heat on. Holy cow. Look. Not liking that too much. That one. Okay. So. Why does it have it like that? Oh. It's got a book on it. Why well, ain't putting the book on it? Not happening. So, so decided she's going to work on the cover for her light box she's making. Sounds very interesting. So, Hmm, I don't know if I like that either. Too much. No, don't like it. We'll get rid of the 15s. Making up. I'm making it to fold up in a small frame to hold the light inside. Okay. What 
watching me. Oh, robotic again. I'm just going to end the show if this keeps up. I'm not going to deal with this. My thing comes tomorrow. He didn't bring you home any batteries? No, I told you I wasn't paying eight dollars for pocket stupid oh. batteries. Well, they're too expensive at the corner store, and I didn't want to make them go to the dollar store again. Okay. Yes. I don't know what that is. But how do you make the rotary cut? Doesn't show you. Oh, a rotary cutter? Yeah, it doesn't show you. Paste the two parts into A as well as B, C, and D. Yeah. Does not show you, Marco. Oh, cutting mat right there. And it looks like a real cutting mat. Well, I'll be damned. Let's take this one off. Let's start again. Put them up. These are cutting mats. Glued like so. These pearls are so pretty, they almost look like miracle beads. What pearls are those? I think I ended up buying them from you. They're a uh, copper color. They are miracle beads. Are they? Yep. They are. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are miracle beads because that and they're like a size ten or something. Maybe an eight. Four millimeter? Oh, four millimeter, okay. Smaller ones you got. Yes, they are. If you take them to the side, they glow. La 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 la. I like miracle beads, they're cool. Well, that looks like a better mat. No. Let's peel this off. Let's stick it on here. Oh, well, now for this rotary cutter, mm, not sure. What's the problem? They don't give you instructions. Oh, it shouldn't be hard to figure out then. That's a big rotary cutter. Okay. Oh, that's not the piece you got to cut out. It's this one here. M8, M9, M10, M11. 12, 13. So this is the rotary cutter here. It's supposed to be. Yep, she's made herself at home on that little rocking chair. Good girl.
apparently I can open it by just folding oh, it back and the light sits okay. on top. You want me to call you Rotor Reader? Reader, I will do that, Jeff and Marie. Let me snap trap over the top under the headrest to keep mm -hmm. it closed. So we're going to glue these together. It'll be easier. Yeah, I'm not getting that so. I'm using it to trace applique patterns onto white paper cardstock to line the clear plastic adhesive for stability. Now I need two more pieces like this for what I want to do with this rotary cutter. That's it there. So give me some more. Yeah, just kind of look at your rotary cutter and see where what has to go. Pretty girl. You like that chair, Mom? I like that. Two pieces. Glue it. Shut. Now, I'm going to cut out a blade. Out of this. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Debbie. A very good circle maker. She's cooking potato leek soup. Mm, yuck. I couldn't I don't like creamy soups. I'm not a leek person. But it sounds good anyway, Debbie. Hmm. I think. Hey, <laughs> where the hell are you coming from? Get out of here. Potato leak. Yeah, we know like we know like creamy soups. That's some fancy, fancy rotary cutter. Ah, good morning, Linda. Morning, Linda. Eating Bill Knapp's little. Crescent donuts and a glass of milk. I think I've said that right. I don't know. I'm thinking Crescent and the typing in the dark if you can't tell. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> it's like, what the world is she eating? All right. That's the world's tin oh, tiniest rotary cutter ever, but it's as good as it's going to get. As good as it's gonna get. It's gonna sit there. I 
I'm going to do something. I'm going to shape this a little bit more to my liking. Oops. Can't do it from that way. Good enough. There's my rotary cutter. Stick it down. And let it cut some beautiful fabric. There. Cute. Now, I don't know if I like this. I'm crooked, so let's pull these guys off and move them over. And put a cutting caddy this way. They had it this way. I don't know if I like that. And it gets a spool of yarn there. And a dumb book that I'm not going to use. Flowers, which I'm not going to use. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to glue this on like that. My brain isn't working yet this morning, Martha. I covered my applique stencils with laminate sheets. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. So. Who did that? What so, applique stencils? Oh no, Tracy. Why would you cover those with laminate? Yeah, she wasn't cool. awake yet. <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Then I cut them out. She said, oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Well, one thing you can say is that uh, you definitely have a stencil. Not too crazy about the ruler. So, I'm going to use these ones here. That can in the kit. Everything is printed on this dark brown paper. Like, how are you supposed to see anything? Nan, I am working on this bracelet. Which is... Oh, God, I can't see without my goggles on. Turning out pretty cool. Nan asked if you're feeling better today. Oh, hell yeah. A lot better. And to use their ruler. Since it looks like a ruler. And let's see. I don't think I have it um, on the other end. Some of this stuff they got is pretty. Um, oh, that's going the same way. I could use this for a pattern. Put that in here with the patterns. There you go. It's a pattern, it's officially a pattern. That's what we're going to use it for. I'm not putting their crap in there. I'm not cutting out all this paper. I'm putting in a paper. No, paper. man, it's not peyote. Um, I don't even remember the name of the word that this bracelet was. Go this way. Mm -hmm. This way. Um, okay. 
I don't know, the other day I was just watching videos and it's like, oh, here's some things I haven't seen before and I liked it, so I made one. And I'm just adding things to it. Which is miracle beads in a copper color and this bracelet is stunning, as Ruby would say. Here's scissors. Yep. So needs some coffee. You better put a couple double shots of cocoa in that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pair of scissors. So here's my little packages of where's my packages of stuff of my arm. I'm going to put a pair of scissors that are silver, make them look like different scissors. Put a big shiny needle in there. Um, pair of scissors. Silver ones. Put these in. Good morning, Rajul. Hi, Rajul. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Hey. Just, oh, yeah, there is another ruler. Little miniature ruler. Oh, my gosh, that's so stinking cute. Probably should have used that on here. What is it? It's a little ruler. Aw. Metal ruler. But then it's got a hole in it, so I gotta hide the hole. I gotta camouflage the hole. Well, you could always kind of tuck it under something. There we go. Stay in there, scissors. Um. Oh, shoot. It fell in my garbage and I'm not digging it out. School of thread. Yay for grandbaby. So, Rajul's baby. son's going to India expecting baby in October. Oh, congrats. So, no, actually, we're going to lay this down because it's supposed to be a, a vase here, and I ain't putting a vase here. The flowers. Oopsies. Put the needle and thread right there. Okay, and there's a little glass jar. Doesn't show me what to do with it because it's just cool like that. Where is it? I've seen it in one of these bags. Right here. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it. It's a glass jar full of goodies. What should I put in it? Oh, I don't know. Make it look like buttons. Debbie says, Ruby, you've gave me so many ideas for when I order mine. So she's going to order one. Good, Debbie. So I shortened down my needle, sticking out a bit too much. 
don't forget, Debbie, all the little things that they have in wood, you can paint your own color. Lots of things you can do to change it up. What are we doing here? Because it's supposed to sit up here. Praying to the string gods that I have enough string or thread to get to the other end. And how's that working out for you? I don't know. I'm praying. <laughs> You're praying, are you? Uh huh. Oh. I got a feeling. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I just want to make sure that the medical beads are going to stay on. Come on, get off of it. Okay. Yep. I am very short, so now i got to tie it off somehow. What a nice crooked table. <laughs> Putting little sew machines on each side of this caddy. Make it look cute. Super cute. Wow. What is up with this being so crooked? You okay, baby girl? Over here licking her lips like she wants to throw That's up. You. Put an ornament instead of that. Let's put um, blue. Oh, so where's two blues? Right here. So I need to cut this off. Thank God for Tim Bolt scissors. Make it three dimensional. So, just gonna glue all this stuff here. I'm going to put it down here for a minute. One more piece I have to cut off. One more piece. And that gets the wheel. I think I can, Raju, when I get it almost to the finish line. <sighs> Okay, that's going to look stupid, so I have to cut the wheel off. But I want to hide the back. Make it look like a sewing machine. Someone's knocking at the door. Somebody's ringing the bell. So, you're going to let this harden up on here. Very pretty. It's pretty. I'd rather had some crystals in it, but. Let's see, do I have. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to add any more thread. I 
it's nice to know that they'd be secure. What happened to my needle? It fell over. And this fell over. Everything else is good. Um, now I've got to put spools of thread in there. I have to make. I'm going to do that in a moment, Dave. Just want to straighten all this out. I really don't know what to put in here, so. I guess I'll add more thread. Maybe seed beads. Yeah. It has to be on the safe side. Seed beads. Let's put some beads in here and make them look like buttons. Yeah, you can put bees, little pearls. They look like little buttons. Um, do I want to do something down the sides? That's that. I'm going to cut that cork off because it's way too tall. That's these. They look like silver buttons. Right? Right. And then we have a little mini sewing machine that I'm going to use instead of a flower arrangement. I'm just going to use that. Oh my gosh, this is stinking cute. Oh, look, I can't tip Aww. it. I can't tip it just yet till uh, that glue sets on it the It's dry. Thing. Yeah, because I have to put a spool of fabric gets put right there. So I'm going to just put this aside. Let everything dry. Everything go. Copy. Set it. Okay, so what did I leave off? Yeah. Wrong end. Okay. Right there. All right. That part is done. Now, I'm taking a little break. I never wash the glue off my hands because the next thing I need to make is the spools of thread. Cacus. Spools of thread. Mm -hmm. I need to go this way. So. Yeah, and it's very thin thread, so this is going to be super fun doing. They gave me red, green, yellow, and blue. Hmm, no black and white. This I'll have to make my own black and white. Right? Black and white for what? Spools of thread. Oh, yes. You must yeah. have black and white thread. Yes, sure do. It's a must-have in any household. They gave me all colored spool, color threads. So I'll make some extra spools simply. I got to make something that's going to hold all my threads. Let me think. I could make a thread holder to hang on the wall and see. Yeah, that would be cute. I was just going to say that. I have toothpicks. I can wrap all kinds of thread on it. Let's see. Do I have a blank space on the wall? Yeah, I do. You can always put it on the side of that. Right there. Oh, where this stupid picture goes. I ain't putting the picture there. I'm going to put my, right here, I'm going to put all spools of thread. So I'm going to make me. I'm going to make myself a rack to hold my spools of thread and right. line, up, line up all the spools of thread on it. So I need to figure out what I can use 
for a base? I got two wrecks. I have two spool wrecks. Well, I can always use chipboard to make it. Yes. And then I could just paint it. Paint it what color? White. No. Paint it a color. But the I have chipboard's to black, right? Yeah. Um, yes, all my scrap pieces are all black. So I have to use those. And then the wooden pile, there's Ow. fatter ones. Ow, that one hurt. I got blood. There's these four fat ones I have to turn into spools, too. I poked myself. Oh, Martha. I poked so it good, too. I'm going to get a wooden dowel. Let me just cut pieces off of it to make... I don't know what all these are for. Oh, you know what I could use? I'm not making the mirror. So let's see what kind of wood is with the mirror. So I chose not to make the mirror. So let's go find it. You need. Do you have any, um, 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 you can make it probably pretty easy with, um, Popsicle sticks. That might be too thick, though. Yeah. Um. That's what pays to have little pieces of wood in your house. Like balsa wood. and. Well, I have popsicle sticks. Why can't I use that? I could cut them down to, to fit these little spools. So these are fat ones. We should make these black and white spools. Make these colored ones, right? And I'll get some more and use some of my threads, just wrap some of my threads around some pieces. But see, I could just use these because this here, I am not making the mirror. And the mirror takes, oh no, those spindles are for the rack. Okay, no, we can't use those. Someone's oh, knocking at the door. Oh, that song's going to be stuck in my head all day now. Thanks to the dog. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, look. I well, oh, I'm gonna go dig out. Oh, I have a spindle right here, <laughs> a wooden spindle right here. So I could make it's a it's a skewer. I could make all kinds of spools of thread with this using my own thread, and then we'll build a nice little shelf. But I'm taking a potty break, and I'm going to see if my paper or my paper my popsicle sticks are exactly where I remember. Sure. Oh, and there's little spindles in here too. Hi. So we'll build a nice little spool shelf. I'm so pumped about that. It's going to be so cute. I'm almost thinking I need another pin cushion too. So I might make another one. Mary Ann, you got food and water. Yes, you do, Missy. You have food and water. <sighs> Ah, more tea and a fruit and grain bar. Blueberry at that. I'm going to class it up like Nan and have a 
I have a pastry. Good. So yesterday, I had to go out and run to a store. And on the way out, around the bend there, and seen something sitting out to the side of the road. By the time I got up there, there's these two little rocking chairs. They're not quite a child's, and they're not an adult. They're like kind of in between. They're made for a smaller person. Oh, yay. Cool, Razul. Um, one... And by the looks of them, they are old. I mean, old. I even flipped the one upside down and the grooving in it. It's old. One is a fabric-covered cushion on it. The other one does not. So I picked up the one with the cushion on it. And they they had came out and talking to me and stuff and well take the other one it's like I really don't have a use for the other one but the one with the cushion I was thinking for Linda's granddaughter I was thinking about recovering it redoing it and on the way back from the store. I decided to pick the other one up. I thought, well, Brandy could have that for her grandson. And I called her up and I said, I got something over here for Theo. But I didn't tell her it's going to be a project. <laughs> but I think if it's all redone, painted up kind of cool, we could put like Theo's name on his. Um... And I'm not sure if I want to redo the chair for Linda's granddaughter. I don't have the time. But they're cute. They're very cute. Very good condition. A little bit of sanding here and there. No big deal. Very cute. Yeah, so I got some good, nice finds yesterday. And Holly has tried to take over the one with the cushion on it. I don't know. I might redo the one for Linda's grand. But I'm trying to, you know, what colors of paint do I already have here I could use? I've got matte white. That would be cute for a little girl. I have to go out and find some material. And probably a new... You know, I'm, I'm feeling the foam. The foam still feels pretty good on it. Probably a new piece of foam. If I did white with like a decoupage of, I don't know.
I don't know. It's so cute in a dark wood. I do have some pink and purple enamels. If they're still good. I don't have the room, Nan. I just don't have the room. And I got my wall painted yesterday. And another thing, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. <laughs> I had the guy come out and hook up my gas stove, which I'm glad I did because things were not right. Anyway, uh, took a shower, had to go to the store and get a few things, so I got a shower in. And what was it, two days ago, I went to do dishes, no hot water. So we were in hangout yesterday and we started thinking about it and we came to the conclusion that when he turned the gas off to get the stove done right, he did not turn my hot water heater back on. So I gave him a call and they came out and they turned my hot water heater back on for free. I was very happy. Yes, he was. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Very heavy. So, this is the thread they gave me. Wow. They want me to untangle this. Okay. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> Okay, I did it. You know, start with the brand first. Oops. Damn it. Well, this is just going to tangle them. Oh my God. This is going to be a nightmare. Is that in your embroidery floss? Nope, that's the thread that came with it. So, oh no, use embroidery floss. Bye. I will use all my own threads. I have red, I have all kinds of colors. So, let's start with one embroidery small. floss, would be smaller. No, thread's thinner. The one strand of embroidery floss. Oh, yeah, good idea. One strand will work. All right, let's use black first. Not sure how I'm going to do this, but anyway. Hold it with your tweezers. I'm going to. Hi, Nikan. Hi, Nikan. She is making thread spool threads. Spools of thread. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's wind up our spools. Oops. Can you stop it? <clears throat> I pretty much got that one done. 
<laughs> Those don't work. Very good. So we'll just cut it with that. Yeah, it's fiddly, all right. Very fiddly. Nikon said she made some for Vine for her dollhouse. Oh, cute. All right, there's a black spool. Very small. <laughs> cute. <laughs> Very cute. So I need to cut some more of these. At that link so I can get them all the same link. So I can wrap threads, some spools of thread on all of them. So I'm going to use Martha's idea and get lots of colors from floss I don't know how many I'm going to need so we'll cut and the rest can go in the garbanzo yes tweezers are a very used tool here in this house yes very much so should have put that back What I'm going to do is I'm going to build the shelf first and then I'll see how many spools I'll need roughly. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, start with a flat piece. too big and then we'll get this thing in the jigger and where is my ruler oh it's right here Oh, I glasses is a definite for sure, Negan. <laughs> like they say, once you hit 40, the eyes start going. Oh, very good. Score it easier to cut maybe without splitting it there we go still split but who cares Now I will need um, the shelves that go in it, so I'll have to cut those somewhat. Ooh, Netflix has a new Bob Ross movie, Happy Accidents, Betrayal, and Creed, or Greed. That could be, I should make one, two, three shelves. Okay. We will do that. So I need some popsicle sticks 
but I'm going to lay flat. That one's flat. So we will cut this one in half. Well, why is that so small? That wasn't the right one. Is it this one? Yes. Grab the wrong piece. Okay, and I think one more will suffice. All right, I'm just going to let this harden up a bit. That is what my shelf is support. Why don't you just fold in half, idiot? Jeez. I don't want it to glue to my thing. Okay. All right. These are my shelves. Um, I need to talk to. Okay. Stick. These ones are warped. I don't want to warp them. That one looks pretty good. Now, just going to cut this like that. them off and I'm going to score it because it's a lot easier to to cut okay. Lincoln says they just came in from a walk two hours walk feet are angry with me now <laughs> Uh, Debbie says, Ruby, the link you put in for your bead embroidery says it could not find. Bead embroidery. Oh. Cross stitch. Right. Oh. Well, let me go check that out. Um, who was it from? AliExpress. Oh, let me go see if I can find that. I don't even know if I have the link for that. Probably not. AliExpress. Okay, so these are my sides. So we're going to glue them down. And I will be trimming this all up. But once it hardens, and then I'm going to paint it and sand it down so the front of it's a little smoother 
That's one thing I did not save in my thingamajab. That's way too wide. I'm not making a hundred red. So let's just make this a little shorter, hey? Okay, let me see what. Oh. Like about there. I'll find it for you, Debbie, I think. Okay, so we're looking for bead embroidery. Beaded. Bead. Cross stitch. Jeez, and all I'm getting is diamond paintings. Yeah, that's why it's hard to find them. What did you look under? Uh, full bead embroidery. Full bead? Yep. Oh, come on, work with me here. Oh, oh my gosh. God. Full bead embroy. Oh, I guess it would help if I spelt it right. Okay, there we go. And more diamond paintings. All right, here I got a link. From there on, you gotta do what you gotta do, ladies. I got it as close as I can get it to it. It's a cute die set. Okay, I'm going to let this harden and I'm going to wrap some spools. Let's see how that's going to look. Pretty cool. But this here is a little bit too big on the bottom. Then I'm going to sand it. Six.
I think oh, that's no. Okay. We'll just glue these on like this. Oh my gosh, a spool. Look how cute. But I have to trim all this off. Cute. I have to wait till the glue hardens. Oh no. Come back here, tweezers. Okay. So we'll let what you are you on. doing in there, screwdriver? We're going to go get some threads. Okay, back to finding another movie to watch. All right. Okay, for now, we don't need this, this, or this. This, this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or these. Geez, I should have used these for bolts of fabric. Well, I'll be. I am going to make some. What a great idea. What? To make these for bolts. Look. I could have used these wooden popsicle sticks instead of the paper ones and made bolts. And I still need bolts. So that's why I still have all this fabric for my bins. I'm going to use that. What a fantastic. Okay. Soak okay. it all up, so. All right. I'm going to go get some floss while these little babies hard me up. May have to cut some more. I need to put this ruler back because I do use this ruler a lot. So, so this is giving me some sewing room ideas. I got my spools of thread put away because I do not like dust getting on my spools. Now, if it was an enclosed case, then I would put my spools of thread on a rack. But because they're not enclosed and they collect dust, this way they're in my cupboard and they're well protected from dust. I don't want to get all kinds of pieces all over my uh, spools. So I'm just trying to keep my work surface a little bit respectable, a little bit cleaned. There we go. Now, leave you here. Let's see how you're doing. And I'm just going to use a piece of sandpaper and I'm going to lay this flat like this and sand it all down nice and flat. But I'm really scared about cutting this. Probably should have done Wait this. Wait till it's totally. Probably should have done that from the get go. These ones. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait till it's totally hardened. Yeah, wait till it dries before you cut it. Should I cut these little legs off and make it just a square box? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Anyway, that's my goal. Don't answer any of her questions because she'll make up her own mind. Right? Right. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> what did I answer? Should I cut off the legs? Should I? What do you Up think? To you. They look kind of stupid, but then again, they look like a rack that could stand up. Right? Uh, yeah, we'll just leave it. I'll decide. We'll cross that bridge when it comes. I want to get some floss. Oh, Martha, you should see what I have to do to my damn cross stitch. Uh oh. Oh, gosh, darn it. Yes, I got so mad. I crumpled it all up and threw it in the bag. And I was like, no, I didn't do this. But I did. Totally, totally screwed it up. I sure did, Martha. 
I'm going to go get it so I can show it, show you what I did. Tell me, I'll tell, I'll ask you if you've seen the mistake I made before. I come. That's a cool idea. So she keeps her, yeah, well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The golf ball display. Good idea. Good idea. How much did you pay for it? So, did it come with golf balls? My feet are frozen. Today I got to take the storm windows out of the bay window and wash and clean. Just minus the onions. Hush. I am not. Okay, hey, Martha, I'm putting your eyes to the test. Ruh roar, roar. You tell me where I screwed up, okay? Okay. All right. Is it in this bag? It yeah. sure is. Okay. I'll put you so on full mode. Here's the pattern. Here's my cross stitch, my border. Mm -hmm. Now you tell me where my mistake is. Let me move my thread, put it down here. Now you tell me where my mistake is. It's way on the left corner. <laughs> yep. I have to take that, 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 and that out. Because the pattern shows three spaces. Okay, but over here there's only two, and over here is only two. Uh huh. <laughs> I put three spaces between all of them. So when I got over here, I was like, why do I have three spaces? You're off here? corner, yeah. Yes, and this didn't even line up. So I have to take this and all these three out. This will come out, part of this one will come out. The other one was attached to a different thread, so not to cut it out. It's a good thing you didn't use. Uh... Shiny but that border red. is pretty. Oh, yeah, I, I love that color pink. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, see, ladies, that right there tells you you have to pay attention to your graphs. You have when to it count. comes to cross stitching. You can't yeah. just assume, oh, that one's right. I don't even need to count no more. I just have to do three spaces. Uh, no you do not so let me show you my finished one that we're going to turn into a pillow i can't do it right now because i'm waiting for yellow rickrack to come in but this is the finished piece and mo all of it is all my design except for the very middle part that says blessed the rest of it i just drew it all out of my head as i was stitching it so that is my piece 
and I did my own border and I put sunflowers all in here and it says autumn sunflower. So I did my, did my own writing here. I used an alphabet sheet that I've got free offline. So I used that in that one's different writing. The sunflower is again, another different writing. And then I just did a lot of stitching around the border. I added some metallic threads to fill in the corners here because they weren't, it wouldn't have been even all the way around. So I just did that. I really like this. So I'm waiting for yellow rickrack. I ordered some jumbo yellow rickrack to come in from Amazon. And then I'm going to turn this into a little miniature pillow. And it's going to go up on my shelf with all my other decorative stuff up there. So I really, really like that. And same with the pink one. The pink one, we're going to put a piping around it with a bow and a charm hanging off of it. So, yeah. All right, let's start with some Fred. Oh, sure. Let's have this color, this color, this color. Um, oh, yeah. Peach. Put all these colors kind of in order. Um, let's do some, that's a yucky yellow. But you know what? We can use this one. So there's five to start with. And I'm actually just going to use the entire um, strand because it'll wrap quicker. Right? Yeah, and you really won't need much. No. So, um, about five turns and you'll be done. Some of these I have to file them, these little schools, because they're jagged. And I need them to sit flat on the shelf. Fill what, Nikon? Ruby, are you going to fill those with scented flowers? Oh. Oh, um, the pillows. I, the little pillows? No, Nikon, because they're just going to stay in my craft room up on the top shelf. As Not only that, the scent will probably have oil on it, and the oil would... Well, yeah, ruin the material. not only that, I don't want to sit here and smell that because I will get a headache. Okay, so that's good enough for now. So, oops, let's do these bigger spools. So, let's put some glue on this first. Just smudgy some glue on it. I'm going to put this string on it. And I'm going to hold it down on the corner here. And of course, the glue has to stick to it. Yeah, why not? Thinking of dried lavender. You know, I went and bought a new little car scent thing for my car. While I was up north going through Dollar General. And there's one for lavender. It's like, oh, okay, I'll try that. Wow. Very strong. Where are you going, Nan? It's not time for you to leave yet. Have a good day, sweetie. Bye, Nan. Thanks for showing up today. Okay, so there's my one thread. Just glue it down. Snippity snippet. Call that spool done. Call that done like dinner, huh? Yep. And then turn that off. Whoops. Whoops. Jeez. Not the greatest scissors. Cheaper, it. cheaper to use floss than it is thread. And and it's way less headache. I like miniature stuff. Okay, that one's done. And of course, knowing me, I'd have made like a real thread holder. <laughs> And had to have a little hole through my thread so it would slide on the little peg. <laughs> there you go. See, there's our difference. A 
but those are probably drenched with scented oils. Ray was thinking of natural dried. Well, if you want natural dried, you'd have to. Oh, there's Castle. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, Castle. Oh, shoot. That one did not connect on to. Uh... She says, what the hell, YouTube? Why no notification? I don't know, Crystal. Everybody's having the same problem. She says, what you doing? I says, uh, Ruby's live. Where are you? <laughs> and I'm making little spools of thread. Little teeny tiny spools of thread. Oopsies. Straighten that. Get my fingers Not open. all of them should be totally full. You gotta act like you've used some of it. I am trying. These are not the sharpest tree in the drawer. Okay. Teeny tiny cute. Yep, yep. Teeny tiny cute. Yep. Very teeny tiny. And then we'll just squish them together so you can see the wooden spools. And we're going to use scissors that are actually going to cut the threads. There's that. There's the purple and the yellow. We've got this orangey color. I noticed the one that you just did, it had a little tiny dot on the very top of it it looked like a hole it'd be kind of cool to put a little black sharpie marker dot on you each see end. them once i put them in that shelf though Marco. yeah that's true yeah but it's it's all in the details baby all I, the details. I know you and your detail shit i know i know yep 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 i'm actually just gonna hold it and wind it I don't want to use those. Flatten that out a bit. Too much of a bump. Ooh, my finger took way too much room. There's that spool. Not the prettiest. I think I will use the um, <laughs> thing, the tweezers. Got you. That way I'm not pinching off so much of the wood. All right, let's put some glue on this baby. And wrap her. This is going to be a thin one. Nope, that's it. Coffee. Castle and her coffee. That looks better than the other ones. Except it's got no room at the top here. 
Uh, there we go. Much better. Now, this pinky color. Get rid of you. This is how we spool our thread, spool our thread, spool our thread. Yep, this is how you do it. Okay, back to sewing. No. Bye, Nikon. Where are you going? Bye, Nikon. Oh, it's her dinner. She's ready for dinner. Yeah, it probably is her dinner. I have two little cuts from my needle on my fingers, and I am feeling that in those cuts, this glue. Oh, I forgot Here. to cut that off. We have uh -huh. pink. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now we need purple. Goodness, I gotta empty my thread basket. Oh my god, crystals like having real food. <laughs> really? Yeah, she just showed a picture she's got. Oh. Orange toast. No, what looks like syrup on it. I'm not sure what kind of meat with eggs. Maybe sausage and eggs. Her leftovers from yesterday, maybe? Mm. Mm. Then she says, not pot stickers. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. He's right. Mm -hmm. Not the Ruby Special. Not the Ruby Special. What kind of a hoe bag are you? Uh, okay. okay, which way am I going? Very good. These are the crappiest spools of thread. They must be from China. From <laughs> China. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll you up, call you them. Hey, we've got two purples now. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm going to get this ready and start gluing in my spools so I know how many to make. Yeah, because you definitely need a brown. I need whatever my little heart can make. I am bending my beautiful shelf. Oh no, what I do? Oh, you bet I made it. There, good enough. Now, let's sound this sucker.
get rid of all the sharp edges. Oh no. What? My thread was caught over some beads. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. And you can't fix it now? It's too far? Yeah, I can fix it. I just got to go back oh. and tighten up all the other ones. There. Make sure I didn't do that somewhere else. Oh, I don't know if I should add more to it. Well, I think that is super cute. What if I did every other one? So that would be... Now I'm going to stain it. With this ugly paintbrush they gave me. All right. Let's stain it with some brown and brown. I don't know. Let's make it green. Please, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Use my green chopping, which absolutely needs a good shaking up. Mint green. That way, all my colors and spools will show up on it. Wonder if la 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 tangled all up in my hand. Okay. If I go back through, this is stinking cute. My little spool rack. Look at it, guys. It's adorbs. Oh, I think I like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think I like that a lot. Looks cute, Ruby. It does, Martha. It's so stinking adorable. She says, yes, my leftover shaved Philly ribeye and scrambled eggs and French toast with a little cutie. Well, that's a good way to eat up your leftovers, Crystal. Good job. You get a hero. You're getting a hero cookie for that. Yeah. No pots. She's got to get her energy when she, before she goes to the dungeon. Are we uh, hanging out today? Oh, don't we always? Yeah, we do. Are you in a cranky mood today, or are you in a better mood? I'm in a good mood. I just need to get up and get stuff done. You always see that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I love to procrastinate. Yeah, well, that's why I just get so tired of hearing, I need to get stuff done, because I know you're just going to procrastinate. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're another Jeff. That's what Jeff likes to do. His, his motto is, why do it today when I can do it tomorrow? Oh. And I bet you he'll agree with me. Sounds like a sound plan. What did he say? Sounds like a sound plan. I don't know. What did you say, Jeff? Sounds like a sound plan. Yeah, sounds like a sound plan. Playing. Yep. Music to his ears. Okay, that is... Jeff, are you a Libra? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Martha, yep. are you a Libra? Yep. <laughs> oh, Libras so love to procrastinate. Yes, they do. That's uh -huh. true. Well, if I put these in there, it won't lay flat if you want to lay it on the counter. All right. We don't care about the back because that ain't going to be seen. I just... 
appreciate this paintbrush they gave me. It's so pretty. Whoops, shoot. Okay, I gotta go and wash this because now I got paint all over my coffee cup. Oh no. Oh my god, there was a loop around that bead. Ooh, I was not paying attention. Get some of that and I bead. can't fix it. I need to get rid of the thick stuff. I have to keep it there. So my thing dries pretty quickly. So we can do we some spoons. Mind you, that's chalk paint. The chalk paint dries pretty fast. Don't you agree? Run around that. Quiet. Green shelf. Why not? Jeff, did you say that with some cell frame or something? A cell frame. I like that, but it makes the bracelet turn into a bracelet. like afterwards if not i can just pull it all out right right i see i looped around another bead Actually, this is supposed to be a beautiful autumn bracelet to wear during the autumn. This one and the last one I made will be up for sale. But I have to unload pictures on my phone before I can even take I want to make picture. homemade broccoli and cheddar and broccoli. No, yeah. Cheddar and broccoli, um, scalp potatoes for supper. Cheddar and broccoli. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's dry out our little house. See? Our little piece. Hi, baby girl. You can't be in here. So, castles of Virgo. Go figure. I'm Sagittarius. I'm a cool kid on the block. This is freaking adorable. Freaking freaking cute so freaking cute all right oh no 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 i never made that in school yet but that can wait okay this is so cute look at little green let's see how good it looks against the pink walls we'll be able to see the pink debbie's walls. a scorpio oh no oh. look at my oh, mom was a scorpion Look how nice it looks with the pink wall. Nice. Pay attention. A little bit of country, and I'm a little bit of rock and roll. 
Okay, so let's glue in our first spools. My glue is getting low. Do I have to wait for yeah, it? Yeah, can you imagine turning that little sewing room into a little con country house sewing room? Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we do... We don't need any more purple since I've already done two spools of that. So let's just put in some spools of Turn it into a theme. Let's do the purple one first since I have two of you. Can you imagine a retro sewing room? <laughs> That'd be kind of nifty. Yeah. So there's the first spool. Okay, I put all them in. Cool. Try it on, see what it looks like. Maybe they need to be smaller. That's a front one. Pink, yellow. Tiki, shut up. Pineapple. And peach. Peach colored. And it still needs one more, so we'll put the black one there. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> that is so cute. All right, let's pick out some more colors. Let's put these ones back where we got them from. You know, like this. Oh, they're just too tight. They won't work because it's screwing <laughs> up the bracelet. You need to be popped in there. Hey, are you going to just be dicks? That one I'm going to fit. I'm going to put that one there. Put this one here. I'm not even putting them in order because I don't don't use these so much. <laughs> Take them out. All right, let's pick out some new colors. So let's pick out... A light purple. Too big. A light green. Um, some brown. Let's do a dark green. And let's do a bright pink for now. These are tokos. Maybe I'm a Yuki. We're going to wrap on these ones. Okay. We'll start with, I kind of want to break up the colors. So, let's start with purple. Okay. My bottle needs more glue. Wow, it's down too far. Time to fill up. Good morning, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. What are you up to today? We're just going to leave this sit on here for a minute or two until all the glue spills out. Then we'll just kind of wrap this. Hang on. Okay, there. Yeah. Uh, oh, there. 15, I think. Put some glue on it. <laughs> I don't think I really needed that much glue. Ah, Lordy, that's a lot of glue. And I just washed my fingers. No, I was going to sleep all that out of there, but it's cool. I like to do something else, but I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> 
Music makes everything better. Yes, it does. I'm going to make these ones a little fatter so I don't have to make so many. So I think I'll be here all day with this. This bottle is absolutely full. And it's stuck to me. She's playing with her sewing machine. Who is? Sandra. Oh, good job, Sandra. What you playing making? Yeah, it's like, how good are you playing? Oh, my God, Tiki, shut up. Already. What are you playing with? There's a purple one. Those are big bulls. What? She's practicing her practice. She's playing with mitered rolled corners. Okay. Practicing. I couldn't even speak that. Offer or something again. Mm -hmm. oh, that one's coming off. Minis are so fun. Oh, that's so cool. There's pink. Ah. One's got to go on a small one with a big blob of glue. I did not want to do. Why does 
it push down when I do that? Jeez, Tiki. What is your issue? We'll get you a tissue. You ought to see if you can make you a couple cones. Cones would be cute to put in there, too, if it made it wide enough. Yeah. <clears throat> Did they have cones back in the olden days? Uh, I don't know. They had wooden spools that I knew. Yeah. I still am stupid. I didn't. As far as I know, I threw out them bag, a bag of wooden spools. You did? I think so. Oh, that was not good. Yeah. I made the cutest little dolls. This is very, very tedious. I can't even explain it. And while you're rolling right along, I don't know, you know, looks like you're doing pretty darn good. It's brown. I like these fatter ones. They're quicker and yeah. they take up space. Make some more bigger ones. Yeah, I need a bigger dowel. And these ones here might work. Are these bigger? Yeah, they're fatter than those. So. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these threads away in a minute. I'm going to grab some more colors. So we have some white. And some brown. Orange. I got brown right here. Oh. The last one I made was brown. Okay. Um, that color, I guess. Lime green work. This color purple will work, and maybe a blue one, dark blue. Okay, so what I'm going to do. You have no yellow, no yellow thread. I know, because I'm using my yellow. All right, I need to make one more spool. And we'll use it as white. Yeah, this one's bigger. They're actually a different size. So <coughs> three different size spools is cool. Yeah. White one now. Okay. 
This is a big spoon. This is my version of a cone. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. You have big fat spool of thread. Hi, Lynn. Good morning. Good morning, Lynn. There, that one is the white fat one. So let's put these in here. So I'll start with the green, and we'll do the pink. But we're going to hide the mess at the back. This is what I call an organized room. To the brown there. To this big fat white one here. This one's not so pretty of the wood showing. There we go. Put the white one there. Purple. And this little itty bitty green one. There. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at how cute. Mm -hmm. So, now. Okay, here's a question. Oh, wait a minute. Lynn says, was thinking about buying this one, Ruby, just finishing flower shop. Oh, this one is, is going to be fun, Lynn. You're going to like this one. But what Ruby is making did not come in the kit. Yeah, this one didn't come in the kit. I just made this up. This, this couple of spools came on the kit, though. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Kumbaya, my lord. I'm so sick of glue on my fingers. It's not even funny. Does it peel off like regular glue, or does it peel off like varnish? Um, It peels off like skin. There we go. Just more, more stuff to hold on to. Just make sure you give yourself equal amounts of cutting room. Yeah, I will. Okay, so I need I don't know what I need. <sighs> What if I put hmm. I got to go look first off.
Get off. Easier way to make spools. Already got that color. Do this orange color. Found some dragon scales. So we shall see how maybe that might work. Yeah, I'm not sure how many is going to fit across, so I'll just cut them and see. Way to go. Let's go. Uh oh, too big. Yeah, too big. Okay, we'll watch the rest later. Thanks. I made these too big. It's with the people in all these loud cars today. That one car's been by here seven times, I think. All right, let's try this again. See oh, I have two of these. Uh -huh. Something special. We have two special spools. There you go. That's too wide. That ain't going to work. I'm only going to do one more. Oh, but I'm going to need some for on top of the sewing machine, damn it. Well, I can make a few for the top of the sewing machine with these colors here. Nope. I think something's telling me just leave it alone. All right, that's good enough for my thread holder. I don't feel like making any more of these.
there. What do you think? Cute. Cute. I love the fat rolls. Yeah. So now I need some for. Damn it. Um, hmm. Morning, Donna. Oh. Hi, Donna. Good morning. I'm trying to think. Because on this desk, I don't know what I'm going to put in here. And it had spools of thread in there. So maybe I'll just make a few through spools and throw them in there. Yeah, but not with these fat ones. i got to use these skinny ones. So I'm going to just take this skewer and make multiples on here. I really think that's adorable. Okay, so that's gonna go in here and just sit there for now. Just use these colors. And then I could hold on to them. Now these aren't gonna matter the size. Nothing will matter. Done. I am good today, Donna. How are you? Ruby, are you good today? I'm good, Donna. How are you doing? Let's 
Very good, thanks. Thanks for asking. Get off of very Okay, so I actually need, I do a toggle, you need Man, one thing about this is you cannot keep your fingers clean. It's just not happening. Keep your fingers what? Clean? Clean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just not going to happen over here. Thought you were done making threads. I have to make these for the caddy, for the desk. Oh, yeah. This guy yeah. have some. Yeah, I have nothing to put in it. I might even roll up some fabric and shove it in there. Make it look like a fat 10, 10 inch square. Oh dear, how am I going to get there? Go this way, not that way. All right, one more. And that will be the white, and then I'm going to call that done. But I really don't feel like baking any more spools. Not today, anyway, hey? No. It's getting boring. It's getting really boring. Boring! Yes. But they're so cute, aren't they? Well, them didn't work. These didn't work. see so we should put one on each end of the toggle why not so we need two okay <clears throat> i do need to put these threads back but i don't want to do it right now <clears throat> okay. just back in there and i just need to trim these enough now where's that caddy put some glue here and glue here and glue here and the other one is going to roll up some fabric there's white brown blue pink purple this one can go here too Share the caddy, please. Oh. Brown one is getting kind of hidden in there with the blue. There we go. Very good. Now I need to make a spool, a rule of fabric. So, what color? Let's use this. This will work. Yep. 
All right, put her down. Oops. I'm going to do two of them. Two spools. <laughs> Looks like a rolling pin. <laughs> it sure does. <clears throat> well, let's have some Christmas fabric, too. Why not? I'll glue this shut. Put some glue on here. Help it. Help it along the way. Okay, do this, cut that off, call that done. Well, then, only one's going to fit in there. Just one. And that is humongous. So, we're going to cut it down. It's too big. There we go. Very good. Do this. That. 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 Yeah. There we go. Now that takes a spool in there and let's see. Let's get that fabric. Let's try this one and see what it looks like. Gingham. If I could pull this off, I don't need this dowel. Yeah, sure, why not? Good job. Well, that would have been good for something. Sure. Why not? We'll go down and make it look like it's a pile of interfacing. I have a float your boat group. It actually looks like a damn spool of thread. <laughs> okay. So it sits there. Careful, muffin. Don't fall over. <clears throat> oh.
Now, Be much easier this way. Everything's easier with glue. That was a very straight cut. Try that again. There we go. I'm rolling up some toilet paper. There we go. There. Check it out. Little sewing machine. Threads in the caddy. Scissors and ruler. Spool of thread. This really looks like a spool of thread. I kid you not. And I don't know why that, that's there. Just little strands out. Thing. So cute. That is adorbs. I really, really like this. Super cute. And then I put the little sewing machine on the sides. Because this table is an exposed table. So cute. But you know what, guys? I kind of feel nauseous. I'm going to go. I think my allergies have been bugging me lately. Those look like buttons. Yeah, I feel kind of sick. Well, if you're not feeling well. I'm not. I'm going to go take something with gravel. But anyway, at least I went live. Somewhat. Did something. Made my little shelf here. So I made all this today. That. 
I really need to clean those scissors with some alcohol. And that. That is going to be so cute. And I don't know which wall it goes on. Let me look and see. Very cute. Because there's wood. Mm. My stomach is turning. It's going to go on. It's going to go on that wall. So the one with the big window. I think it should have enough room. Not this one. It go on. Which one? This one? No, that's the one. It goes on this one. Is it going to fit? Oh, yeah. There. That'll be the window. And I'll do my own decorations. Yep, so that's gonna, that really, oh, now I have heartburn. See? <coughs> I yep, really I think like you. this is supposed to go on that wall. I really think that's gonna look cute right below it. Yep. The dress stand with my little fake measuring tape <laughs> that I made. So cute. Yeah, you could even cover the wall with paper if you had a small enough print. I don't. I wouldn't want to because now this will really stand out. <clears throat> Just giving ideas. But I got to make a few decorations for the walls, you know. I got to put curtains. What else does it have on the walls? Ugly pictures. Yes, I have put up some of those pictures. <coughs> or I'll have bare words. I don't know. The next thing I have to make is my display shelf. Oh, that'd be fun. I gotta make all these rolls of fabric. Really, what are those all for? Complete the other seven rolls in the same way. Paste and fix the shimmer. Eight pieces. So I need to make eight pieces. And one, two, three of them go on the display shelf. Where do the rest of them go? Okay, I've done the desk. I'm going to make a chair. I, mean, I don't know if I'm going to make a chair. And a stool. I don't know, because it, it has both. Um... Where's those baskets? So it's showing to assemble it like this. If you crunch all that in there, you ain't going to see anything. Like, look at all of that. It's just crunched in there. I don't like it. I do like the ironing board, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it has a chair over here, a stool over here. I got my boxes. I got to make that. Some of the spools go inside of these boxes. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I don't know what goes in there. I can't see. Oh, I have to make balls of yarn. I ain't making balls of yarn. I don't have a, it's not going to be a yarn. It's a sewing room, not a yarn room. So we are not going to make balls of yarn. All right, I'm going, guys. Okay, ladies, you have a good rest of your day. Yep, have a have good day, girls. Yep, enjoy your rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Oh, I feel yucky.